from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer County Community College. This is HCTV 99 News. A student-produced newscast covering HCCC and the community it serves. Hello, I'm Leisha Maytan, and welcome to 99 News here on HCTV Channel 99. We are here every Tuesday afternoon this semester at 1 o'clock with a live 15-minute newscast produced by radio and television students enrolled at Herkimer County Community College. Welcome to HCTV 99 News, and thanks for tuning in today. Sunday Night Comedy Series is back and presenting comedian Jim Laletta. Laletta is said to be one of the most popular headlining college and club acts in New England. He has national television credits, which include NBC, Comedy Central, Comcast Comedy Spotlight, and HBO's U.S. Comedy Arts Festival's Best of the Fest. So don't miss him in HCCC's RMCC 217 at 8 p.m. on March 1st. The Women in Business Lecture Series is being featured at HCCC. As, one of, as of November 2008, women held 49.1% of the nation's jobs. These four women are not only in the workplace, but they all are part or full owners of a successful business. The four women include Julie Steele, president of Mohawk Valley Business Women's Network, Carol Buchek, owner of Tours by Design Incorporated, a company that organizes private bus, bus tours, Linda Fake, owner of Uniquely Yours, a residential and commercial interior designer, and Veronica Freeman, owner of .com, which is a website design and website hosting site. On February 24th, in Alumni Lounge at 12.30 p.m., check out these women speakers. Sexual violence can be an issue, especially during your college years. According to Student Health Services, one out of every four women are victims of rape or attempted rape during their college years. To gain awareness, check out RMCC 288 on Tuesday, March 3rd at 11 a.m. Representatives from the YWCA, Law Enforcement, District Attorney's Office, Health and Student Survivor will be facilitating a panel discussion on the topic of sexual assault. Don't let this opportunity go to waste and let these statistics happen to you. At approximately 2.44 p.m. on Friday, February 20th, students right here at HCCC were receiving emails and text messages saying that Campus Meadows, a housing complex on campus where 350 students live, was on lockdown. An Otsego County man who sent text messages threatening to harm himself and police at the dormitory complex triggered this three-hour lockdown. Peter Pasiak, 21, of Worcester, who has no association with the college, was taken into custody by state police shortly after 6 p.m. at his home, Herkimer Police said. He was charged Friday night with making a terroristic threat, second-degree criminal nuisance, and second-degree aggravated harassment. Police officers armed with a shotgun stood at the HCCC entrance during the lockdown, stopping and questioning the drivers of arriving cars. The lockdown affected only students at the housing complex as classes continued throughout the three hours. Each year, the admissions office here at HCCC hosts a variety of special program days for high school juniors and seniors. These special program days are designed to provide an in-depth look at various programs Herkimer has to offer. Attendees have the opportunity to meet faculty, tour the facilities, and see what Herkimer is all about. On February 27th at 9.30 a.m., don't miss your chance to see what the business information, technology, or sports education programs are like. For more information, contact Amber Stone at 866-0300, extension 8305, or visit our website at www.herkimer.edu. Seeking revenge for the death of his love, secret agent James Bond sets out to stop an environmentalist from taking control of a country's water supply. This Wednesday, the 25th at 7 p.m. in RMCC 247, SAC Film Series is playing Quantum of Solace. This movie is re rated PG-13. Well, there's more news straight ahead after this break during 99 News here on HGTV Channel 99. I'm Leisha Maytan, and Marissa Morton is up next with your complete weather forecast, so stay with us.
now the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas, right here on HCTV 99 News. Welcome back to 99 News here on HGTV Channel 99. I'm Leisha Maytan. And I'm Marissa Morton for HGTV 99 News Weather. So it was pretty snowy this past weekend, but it looks pretty nice today. I hope there's not a lot of stuff going on this week, but let's take a look. Over here for our regional satellite radar, you can see not a whole light not a whole lot happening. There's a lot of clouds coming down from the Canada and it looks like the ocean is nice and clear so hopefully not a lot of snow for our extended outlook but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, I know out in the west there's a lot happening so today looks nice. Hopefully it will keep it up for the rest of the week. Current, current conditions, it's about partly cloudy, 17 degrees. Um, the winds are about west-northwest, 18, so if you're going to go for a walk to see that blanket of snow in the valley, I suggest bundling up. Tonight, it looks to be mostly cloudy, low around 7. Winds are southwest to 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny, looks to be nicer, high around 37, low 28. Precipitation, only around 10%. Saturday, it looks to be mostly cloudy, high of 26, low of 11, precipitation about 10%. And Sunday, once again, it will be partly cloudy, high of 27, low of 12, precipitation around 10%. For our extended outlook, Monday looks to be about partly cloudy, high of 28, low of 20. Tuesday will be partly cloudy, high of 31, and low of 22. Wednesday, a bit better, high of 34, and low of 19. So it's, uh, it's not too bad, it looks like. At least it doesn't look like it's going to snow again this no, week. No, that's good. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marissa, for that weather update. When we return, Alex Webster is going to get you caught up on the latest regarding the Herkimer General sports teams. So stay with us. Hi, I'm Alex Webster and you're watching HCTV 99 News. Thanks for tuning in this afternoon. Time now for your Herkimer General Sports Wrap. The HCCC men's basketball team wrapped up their regular season with a 79-53 victory over Clinton Community College Saturday afternoon here at HCCC. The Generals were led by Steve Campbell's 14 points and 10 rebounds and Kevin Cusel's 11 assists. Raheem L. Williams paced the team with 19 points and 10 rebounds and Cliff Brown added 17 points and 10 rebounds. Akeem Ellis chipped in in the victory with 11 rebounds and 10 assists. Herkimer ends the regular season with a 25-5 record in Region 3 and 14-2 in Mountain Valley Conference, both good for second place finishes. They are currently ranked 5th in the NJCAA Nationwide Poll and open up regional play at Watertown on Friday night. Seedings and games ta times uh, will be de uh, determined Sunday evening. On Tuesday night in front of a packed house, the 2008 NJCAA National Championship teams unveiled their banners at halftime of the Herkimer and Mohawk Valley game. The ceremony recognized the women's track and fields team and the men's soccer championship teams. Lee Martins was recognized as a All-American and Joe Ski Williams was recognized as the MVP of the tournament. Herkimer used that momentum to defeat Mohawk Valley 81 to 46. Well, that's all for this edition of Sports Wrap here on HCTV 99 News. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Alex Webster now. Back to you, Alicia. Okay, thank you, Alex, for that update. And thank you for tuning in to HGTV 99 News today. I'm Leisha Maytan. And just a reminder, you can watch HGTV 99 News every Tuesday at 1 o'clock. And also, tune in each Thursday afternoon at 5 o'clock for a full half-hour newscast. You can also see encore presentations of that newscast. We'll rerun it Fridays at 5 o'clock here on HGTV. You can also find out more about the radio and television broadcasting curriculum at HCCC by visiting our website at www.herkimer.edu. Once again, I'm Leisha Maytan, and on behalf of everyone here at HCTV 99 News, thanks for watching and have a great day.